everyone. Welcome back to another Monday meditation with Bamboo Projects. For today's guided meditation, I thought that we would focus on resilience. And resilience is a big buzzword right now, especially for those of us that are in the healthcare community. And what resilience means is that we need to build up the strength that we actually already have within ourselves to be able to bounce back to what life is throwing at us, whether it's a diagnosis, a disease, side effects or even if you're a caregiver or you're a partner to someone who's going through a tough time how do we handle watching someone we love go through this journey and we all like to think that we have we know the various ways that we'd like to control all of that but at the end of the day all that we can really control is in our own minds our own emotions and our own vision so today that's what we're creating we're creating the vision for our lives, and how we do that is by creating milestones. So today we're gonna to do things a little bit differently. You'll need a piece of paper and a pen, or a pencil, and just pop it on your lap. And in the meantime, we'll be doing a couple of breathing techniques, and a little bit of guided meditation, and some imagery just to clear out our mind from the day so that we can feel creative and open to what we want for our lives. So let's start by closing your eyes, sitting up nice and tall, and let's start by feeling your feet. Feel your heels, feel your toes, feel the bottoms of your feet. Feel the bottom of your hands just resting on your thighs. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. And let's take a nice inhale. Just a regular inhale. And then exhale just a little bit longer. Let's inhale again. Exhale just a little bit longer. Let's do it one more time, inhaling and exhaling just a little bit longer. Notice how you're breathing right now. You know that something that we always come back to and that's just how we're noticing our breath. And maybe we're thinking about it and let it all go right now just to have an open mind. Now let's bring into your mind at this moment someone that you love. Visualize their face. Visualize their smile. And if it's not a person, it could be an animal. It could be your favorite dog or cat or horse, any animal. Just imagine that person or being, whatever that is for you, and how they make you feel when you're around them. Notice where in your physical body you feel that kind of emotion. Whether it's love or gratitude or strength, support, whatever it may be. Just take them a moment to send them a little bit of love, whatever being it is. Now bring to your mind something that excites you something you'd like to do. Something within the next month, maybe tomorrow, could be December, just something you'd like to do. Try not to let your mind start to wander about why you can't or why you might not be able to. Just focus your mind on something you would like to do. I want you to picture it now as if it's happening. As if you can feel yourself accomplishing it. What would it feel like your body feel if you were achieving this? Where do you feel it in your body when you visualize yourself doing this activity? How does that feel to really accomplish it? Take a moment here to think about that vision that you have or the feeling that you'd like to have in your life. You might want to work on your strength 
might want to work on your immune system. You might want to strengthen your love, strengthen your forgiveness, your acceptance. Just an overarching vision that you want to have for your life right now. And maybe in the next three, six, nine months or maybe a year. Now softly blink open your eyes and on your piece of paper, just quickly write those things down. It doesn't need to be paragraph after paragraph, just simple words, dot points, whatever works for you. And once you've written those down, just close your eyes again. to your breath, just notice how you're breathing once you've opened up your eyes and you've just come out of your meditation. Notice how your breath feels. Is it an exciting feeling? Is it smooth or long? Is it short? Don't judge it because there's no right or wrong. Just remember that we're here just to observe. Now let's take another breath in and a nice breath out. Exhaling just a little bit longer. And do two more just like that. Inhaling, deepening the breath, exhaling just a little bit longer. And last time, inhaling and exhaling just a little bit longer. thinking back to your vision, what you're dreaming about for your life, or for the next day, or the next month, the next few months, or year, whatever it is for you. I want you to think of these three things that you wrote down. I'm sure you could think of more, but let's just narrow it to those three things at the top of your mind that you'd really love to accomplish, and they could be a major milestone for you. Just let those images and ideas come to your mind. could be something as simple as being able to shower without needing help. It could be taking your loved one on a journey, doing something that would just help them feel a little bit better, feel a little bit more loved. It could be going to visit your horse at your paddock. Whatever that is, find these things and think of these things. Visualize yourself really doing them, really visualize it. Where would you be? Where would you go? What would you be wearing? How would you feel to be able to do these three things that you wrote down? Now let's softly open our eyes and on your piece of paper, just next to where you've jotted down your milestones or goals or whatever you might want to call them, I want you to take a moment and look over what you've already got and if you're stuck at all you might just um, think that your goals could be a little bit more action orientated so if I was living a life that was bold daring and intentional then my thoughts would be around that take a look at your milestones look at those just for a moment what have you written down? Don't let the mind come in, play and say, oh, you can't achieve those. Just have a look at what you've written down. Some of the ones that I have is I'm working on forgiveness. And something really simple is to meditate daily. It can be a short meditation. It can be a 30 minute meditation, even longer, just something like that. But let's just think how we can put those milestones into play. And start today. What could you do to accomplish one of them? Or start your journey towards one of them? You could even share them with people. It helps to think them, write them down, say them, share them. Because that helps keep us accountable and honest with ourselves. And what we're trying to achieve is something to look forward to. There's always that saying is... Um, there's no one more accountable than 
yourself when you pop your ideas and thoughts onto Facebook or your goals. Not suggesting that you do that, but just thinking about how you can keep yourself accountable. Let's just go ahead and close your eyes one last time. Let's come back to thinking of the feeling in your feet. And just notice right now how the overall mood of your body and maybe what your emotions might be. How are you feeling right now? Maybe have a moment of gratitude to yourself that despite everything coming right at you, you are able to sit in this practice, in this session and dream. Come up with visions for yourself. Empower yourself. Take control. And how good that feels to take control of something. So have a think about what your intention might be for today. How are you going to work towards that goal? And it's not about achieving it today, it's about just working towards it, moving forward. Think about how you'd want to feel for the rest of today. And then softly, you can open your eyes. I hope that you got a lot out of today's uh, guided meditation. There was a bit more involvement um, today compared to normal, but I think it's good to try different things to keep you on track and help you reach your goals. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm wishing you peace today and every day.